learning about these issues, we have to take action. My question to you, Congressman, is under today's environment in Washington, what action can we take and how can we stop this old government overtaking of health care? Well, first of all, the people that are here are not part of some vast right-wing conspiracy. And under no circumstances does the Speaker of the House of Representatives have the authority to call people un-American because we disagree with the politics. Documents we're giving you a little a sheet in back. You want to give us a comment or fill it out, um, and we can keep putting you on our email list. Rich Carty give those documents to him. It was a box over there. What we are seeing taking place in America is so wonderful because Americans are in the process of taking back our country. Members of Congress have become distant from the people they represent. They don't come home frequently enough. They don't have town hall meetings. They don't open their doors. They don't answer their correspondence. You know, being a representative is all about representing representing you. And who are the members of my staff? Rich over here, Pam is. But our staff works continuously just to stay in contact with the people. Sometimes some emails fall through the, the cracks of the system, as we've been deluged with bills. But Americans are already speaking. The, the Democrats are the ones that are having this fight. The healthcare fight is not between Republicans and Democrats, it's between Democrats and Democrats because they don't need Republicans. And what the Democrats are hearing from the American people is we have had enough spending We've had enough stimulus plans. We're tired of pouring yeah. money down another rat hole on Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to have you stand up and run the healthcare system the way you ran the plumber system. <laughs> and when Americans open the paper tomorrow, they're going to find out something again starting. Our national debt is at $10 trillion. The CBO has revised upward the amount of deficit that will accumulate in the next 10 years from seven trillion to nine trillion. We're facing 19 trillion dollars of debt even without this. It's time to stop the spending. You're here to say that Washington better here or we're gonna have new leadership in both houses of Congress.